And with temperatures being so low this week, health experts are warning of the dangers of cold exposure. ABC 17 Sydney Olson is live in Columbia, Sydney. They're saying to watch out for frostbite or hypothermia outside, but also inside where there's no heat. And Deb Lucas, as we just heard, we've seen temperatures in the single digits this week, and it's not over yet. One local doctor is warning people that frostbite can set in in a matter of minutes if people are outside exposed to the cold. And experts say if you find the heat and your home goes out, it might not be safe to stay there either. When we're dealing with really severe cold weather like we have right now, uh, hypothermia can develop pretty quickly. Dr. Christopher Sampson with MU Healthcare says people can also suffer from frostbite if they're out in the cold for too long. He says that often happens when people are doing something outside, distracting them from possible symptoms on fingers or other limbs, like fixing their car or shoveling snow. First thing is they start getting numb, and that's where they may feel like they're not working as well as they normally do. And then the next steps are sometimes that they can become very painful or that you completely will lose sensation. Dr. Sampson and the Columbia Fire Department say if someone's heat goes out for an extended period of time, they should take shelter somewhere else. Houses and apartments will cool down differently depending on their size. But the fire department says people should not use space heaters for permanent heat or heat their homes using their ovens. It increases your risk for carbon monoxide poisoning, and it's just not safe to have a, an open flame like that going for, that, for, for extended periods of time. I checked in with Boone and University Hospital this afternoon. Luckily, neither of them have seen anyone come in seeking treatment for cold exposure, but Frazier says the department would not be surprised to see it later this week as with temperatures staying so low. Reporting live in Columbia, Sydney Olson, ABC 17 News. Dr. Sampson says the hospitals also start to see an increase in injuries from falls this time of year.